Well, I did it. I'm waiting for a response, like they're going to get back to me. Um, as far as the PayPal linkage. And then I think it'll make a big difference in my life because I don't really have that complicated of a life. I mean, I make sure it's not that complicating. And so, I mean, that's the whole point of kind of gravitating up into the wilderness area or the mountains. Pardon me while the Blue Jays, you know, the Blue Jays out there, there are like at least 12 of them or something. But I know that five of them were mine that I had a nest against my house, but then when I think about it, it's like, well, actually, there was two other, or four other nests from years before, and so now there's, like, this massive, like, I, uh, I call them the little policers, or the little polices, because they will, um, see a bobcat, and then, or, or a coyote, and start making this sound, and if you're smart, you know that you look wherever that's happening because you'll you look and see that they are making an alarm and, and they're all dressed in blue and they're they they can be um good little policers anyway they they um are telling something to go to hell you, a lot of times it's a it's a hawk too a big old hawk they kind of give it hell anyway um, they make a irritating sound. Anyway, um, I I got the PayPal, and I linked it to my bank account, and it's like I it's like I, I mean the privacy thing. I don't know. I only have so many ducats in my my bank account, so I'm not at the very least. I mean, at the the best that can happen really is that it's going to start filling up, right? Maybe. Uh, but I think it's better than um relying on sources that are weird you know people can get locked into a, a bad situation just because they're relying on one source of not just income really what if it's just that you tend to isolate yourself like I've become isolated and then I try to talk to whatever uh, comes at me, you know, um, which isn't much. But anyway, um, there isn't any talking to a narcissist, right? You don't, they don't communicate. They do not communicate. It's hard to describe the, um, the level of communicating that they do, which is more like I don't want to pick on these people, you know, but they're boring. That's one of the things that you'll hear the more professional um, people on YouTube, you know, talk about. I mean, a lot of people don't know what a narcissist really is, but they are genuinely boring people. I mean, they don't love themselves like people say that they um, do know they have a self-loathing core and the outside of them tatters themselves up and boast and they boast about being this and that and, and they they're kind of um one-sided that way because they'll never ever admit that they made a mistake or say like say how about that um well, they just are low in a conscience, and it's hard to tell who's who, you know. They will make you a certain way. Society makes you that way, you know. And and that's where they say, well, don't let the world bring you down, or don't let the world in, or don't um, become hurt by the hurt people, you know. And, and it's like, yeah, what a, what a thing, you know. Um, can you practice something that releases the pain in a, way that doesn't harm you or the other people and now that's where I'm talking about did you ever learn how to play music I don't know is all that going away just simply being human and being able to transmute and to transmit and take on these energies 
you know, um, it's sad because the people that don't know how to um, do their own shadow work, they don't take on their own energies. Like right about now, it's kind of like um, the heat is on, right? Because Pluto going back into Capricorn for the last time. And if it means letting go of traditional values, um, because that's what Capricorn represents over there. And, it, and, it, and Capricorn does, out of all the signs, I think I said it once before, but they will manage the worst toxic relationships, whether it be your job and your boss, or what is it, your school over there, private school, or public school, or all that corporate crap, that's what Capricorn rules. It's the money orientated thing. It's like, what, well, what, what kind of goal was that? Well, good God, when it takes off all of its masks, you know, you have that, um, we don't understand a diddly darn thing, it seems like. Um, because, yeah, look at Scrooge over there. And was it a good or a bad thing to become a Scrooge? Because that person was just saying, well, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just bust it all apart because it, I was enslaved anyway? And then now what? Just be the good example when all of you people can't work your fucking shit off and do it? And where? What is this? You know, and, and overall, you know, the, <laughs> look at it. It's like these fucking useless. Fuck what you talk about useless. You know, and I'm not saying that because how did it become re rendered up that way? See, earth people that I know, they're gardeners. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I have Venus in Virgo, and I'm like, yeah, it makes me happy to see rows of tomatoes and, you know, the, the work's happening right about now. It should be happening. Should be. I mean, this is the time of year where, yes, whatever fruit trees I have, they're full of fruits, and we look at them, and of course, somebody, I mean, if anybody is thinking about the misery of the the middle of the winter and how do we save this, it's Capricorn, and they know how to, to jar things, like, you know, to can things, can it, seal it, keep it, for months on end to where now it's getting into December and that's when it's their birthday and, and it's like, well, well, a lot of times we can count on Capricorn to have a satchel. That's the thing, uh, to have their cupboards full, that they took care, they were wise enough to do the work that's discipline. That's what it, it rules Saturn. And I don't have a problem with it. I love Capricorn, late degree, 23, give or take three degrees here and there. See, that's the way it works. I have Venus and uh, Virgo, and then I have five planets under the world rulership of Venus. And you got to appreciate the earth grounded people that work the day to day fields. And then because they're always thinking ahead, they're thinking, no, you do this now. And then later on, you'll thank us. And we love that. We love See, my birthday is coming up, and it's um, September 26th. See, I talk about being in Aries a lot, but see, that's my rising sign, but I'm a, a Libra, Sun at 3 degrees, Pluto at 6, and then Mars at 9, 3, 6, 9, feeling fine. And see, but behind it there, I have Venus at 23 degrees, which is technically it's 10 degrees away from my Sun, and astrologers do count that as a a conjunction, like they infuse the sun, especially if it's the sun or the moon, they count at three, uh, 15 degrees because there's a, a halo around them. So for the conjunction, so there is a conjunction of the, the Venus, even though it's in Virgo. See, we have the Virgo planets now um, kind of trucking away. What I mean is it's sun in Virgo right now. I'm making this on 9-8-2024. And so I might put it up ahead a little bit. And I have made videos like the one that's on this day on the 8th. Boy, that's when I didn't have a shower. And for whatever reason, I went back into that. But I, it's psychological, really, the way that we think that we need to depend on any money, really, for, for, for some things, a lot of things. We really, like this water heating thing that I keep looking at. And I, I about burnt the hell out of my feet thinking I was just going to turn the hose on and, and spray it off, you know, because it kind of got muddy. And... It was the hose laying in the sun, 
and it's so hot and it's like you have to let it run to get it to where you don't burn yourself and it's like you know what i should be doing this you know what i mean just fill up the containers and just get it done i did it one year before and it worked perfectly and i can do it again i do have a container anyway wish me luck repeating this to you guys over again but you know it's just me here and i guess it's just going to be me here fuck it uh i don't need much see main thing is um yeah i open a paypal account i'll let you know um like uh i really don't know how that works and if i can do it with all of them i think it went through because they they said um we will look at the information that you sent us and we'll get back to you about your account opening um you can't use your account yet see right you have to wait and so i sent them some documents that they needed and a lot of my personal information but really it's like uh eh, that's that's their information they're playing this game that they jacket and coat you with and it's like well whatever um i tried to do a specific organization name but i thought it would be better to just say um, shauna wyatt is my business which is like no i should have done an organization i i can change it they say you can change your business name later on and i tried to put here and now organization but uh they wanted um anyway i was misunderstanding the way that we, we label it and anyway have a beautiful rest of the day they, they wanted me to clear storage and that's what i'm going to try to do now and i want to try to talk more right now about our um, astrology that's here um libra the venus and libra trying jupiter see um we have to be careful especially the libra generation which is my generation born well around about uh 70s maybe 69 but more like 70 to about 76 or 77 uh, especially that's with when pluto and, and uranus were in libra and so i talk about that often in some of my past past videos and just to brush up like you know that we are doing generations here and it's this awakening uh particularly that the generation the generating awakening you know um what is that word shauna well what is it guys listen to it generation you know of a generator what is it gene gene ration look at it there's gene ration you need to know it's like just a few um good vibrational frequency is gonna come through and and does it make a difference or is there an effective weapon against it now talking about i really wanted to talk about the spiritual warfare that's happening here whoops i keep thinking i have my glasses on uh that's that's at full throttle it's like at peak right now and, and if you have not like now libra generation very tedious did they catch their balance through really what it is is um it's psychological if you want to know about the warfare that's going on like what keeps people what what has made them into weaponry from one individual to the next one at a time very systematic but it's very thorough isn't it we could talk about the system and the education system and what what traditional value do you uphold that needs to end see a lot of people think that you're just pulling the, the carpet out from under their their foundations like no actually you guys are doing hangman uh deception all across the board you don't need it what you need is your humanity you need to become awakened and did you gather what was going on here three things hey it's not a um you know you're most people are programmed that's what i'm trying to say the programming get rid of it see it's coming from within now that's the, what the what do they call sorry i'm staggering like an idiot but the the war of, of spirituality what is it it's about principalities whatever that is look it up the, the, the language that they use right um satan um uh, god it's uh what is it um something in possession of what well um do you think that it's just a little bit and we have to brush up or is it like maybe flip it around maybe it's a lot and there's just a few that are saying hello generating generating what generating a fucking ever-loving threat to what well something lives in fear and, and thinks that it's way more important than just a feeling did you ever get a, a feeling yet 
feel good? What is the, see, this is the thing that we question of the enslavement system over there, really, because there is, and I'm here to tell you as a human being, that of course, see, there's things that are worth your effort and fight, but then there's things that are not worth your effort and fight. Now, getting really heavy duty into it, you know, the truth is worth our effort and fight to um, play. Like, as if it's a game, we uphold it and say, as warriors, we say, um, I got this, who, who has it with me? Really, it, it should be, now there's a should there, I know, but it really, it should be that we work together, that there's a resonation between people and they find themselves doing a certain thing. See, we don't see that here. Not in where I'm at. It's an insane asylum where just from one household to the next, it's completely blah, blah. And, and we understand that you guys have a, a job to do and work to do, but it's like, what are you guys doing? Hello? Hey, I, I need some work to be done too. Well, how do I get in on this club? It's definitely a club. Watch your words too. You don't even know what you're saying after a long time. After a long time, then you're using those words so much, you don't even know what club means anymore. Get out of there! And is it your own? Is it your own? See, the, the, I was talking about um, narcissists in the beginning, and the thing is, is that they don't have their own mind there. It's very much like, uh-oh, spin it around, yank the red light in the back, you got to do some wiring around, and that, that's to me, and I'm saying as a woman, that's a woman's job. Why? Because who gives a fuck? But what if they want to reproduce with you? What if they're trying to get into your body and they want to insert a, and it's like, wait a minute, you better know something. And there's where they have to do quality control. Wow, what minute are we at here? And I'm doing another controversial fucking thing. See, like and subscribe because I've gotten less and less hits. And I know it's because my video quality has gone down. The more and more we talk about these idiots called men and women. Look, I'm not involved. I, I'm not um, I'm not interested in that more so than just them both. The possibility of them becoming purely aware. What's that? Well, it's just being available to the truth in the present moment, wherever you are, just, hey, you know, hi, it might mean, mean you have to wave at your neighbor, if God forbid, you know, I was doing that for the longest time, and it's like, you know, I'm going to keep doing this until, uh, until I um, have a reason not to, and of course they give you a reason not to when they, um, when, when it's clear that they don't want you to live that they are basically dangerous if you're an emotional figure, meaning that you have feelings and stuff and that you don't mind showing them. Ah, yeah. So I got PayPal to try and rework. We have to rearrange this some way. Um, my my complaint is, is this. Is, um, okay, so because I've complained, I, I've claimed to be God. And there is, that's pretty heavy weight to say, you know, as the universe, I am the universe and I'm going to try and ask for, I'm going to start touching these monetary um, means with which we support each other. Um, maybe a little bit. See, I don't need that much. I can't believe it. See, if there's a possibility that the people, I don't know if it's the same amount that I have Facebook and then here on YouTube, maybe, maybe they're the exact same, but no, I think that YouTube gave me a lot of my subscribers because they are um, they are trying to raise awareness about the plague, which is narcissism, um, or the non-human faction. It's just it's just a fact that's there. It's just it's there, and you don't deny it. It's there as a science, really. And they gave it a name, and you don't give things that are happening as the truth, whether it's a mechanism or just a, a, a a solid chemical, you, you don't give it like human um, names and, and, and um, uh, like uh, scenarios, like feeling. It's more like, can you just say that this is a mechanism of the mind or something like that, rather than saying narcissism over there. And then the woman named Echo, which was those two, our character, look it up, it's fascinating. 
There's not just narcissists, whatever the hell the net name was, which they science just goes out the door there because what are we talking about now? Well, uh, YouTube has made me um, popular to 400 people probably, at least um, 275 that I got for one video and my guides are trying to tell me, well, why don't you refresh in that video and put it up and get more? get 800 more likes and it's like well okay I guess it's not really my favorite subject matter it's a it's a shitty it's like you know here's why it comes up um, it's because if you have something like if you're a Tesla or any good idea um, uh, if you are concerned about the quality of the human relationships that you are conducting around you like how you feel about it you're gonna go down that rabbit hole you're gonna notice what what is it? Like, oh, well, maybe I should skedaddle. Why can't I skedaddle away from the narcissist? Well, did they trap you? Did they fucking trap you? I'm about to explain. In general, the trap. Did I talk about um, Capricorn and, and like, how, well, well, check out money and how that, man, you know what? I see it big time and I'm concerned for some of my loved ones that we have become separated and I don't doubt that it's because they were taken up by a narcissist and their own narcissism. They fucking glom on like a goddamn club and 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 you you become a scapegoat. You have a flaw or did you go down to or something you didn't handle it and you don't handle their hurt and they don't hurt they hurt when they hurt and you don't hurt everybody's hurt and cannot take care and it's like whoa See, there's where I'm saying, um, I'm not going to, I don't want to bug anybody, not any one buddy, but I think that this video, minute 22 now, the sincerity behind it deserves at least $2. And man, I trip out. If 300 people sent me $2, that's That would piss off the enemy, right? Whatever enemy that, that traps us. Babes, let's talk about those people that get married. Apparently, you don't even need that. And they start laughing at you. But you can do that. You can play that game. And then you can just... You, you, you do this commitment thing now. It's not about love. And it's not about good friends there. No, it's not. Nope. No, you you need to free yourself out of that institution that is caused mentally. Mental, see, the commitment thing, I argue, you know, they say, I heard some people talking about it. They don't make sense. They try it. They think they do. And they think they're smart and they're all narcissists. That's all. They say, is it, is it, is it just love or, or are you really going to commit? And it's like, fucking bitch, you commit to love. You trust love and you commit to your trust. Has nothing to do with the other people either. Has everything to do with you and the way you trust yourself. The way you feel, the way that you carry. And you know what? It's up to nobody. We are looking at something fucking huge. We need to talk about this more. Is it right to conduct a one-on-one -on -one and, and back each other into a corner, corner like that? Or do you just break away and say, Whoa! Whoa! What just happened? You know, And people, I swear to God, we need to fucking sell out and regroup. If anything, just sell out and go and sit on a rock and say, now what? I don't know. You know what? You're being fleeced. And if you're getting next to it, if you're, if you're trying to love people that are into the fleecing game, they believe in these fucking traditional values that fucking suck your soul out. It sucks the possibility of a great life from happening. And I didn't just say it that we don't pay attention to the fucking sun rising and falling over there in December. It's beginning to fall now. That's what the sun in Libra rules. The sun is, is the sunset is the Libra sign. There's a sun and it's like halfway up. And but really it's um it's it's looking like a scale. Really it's an equal sign, but you have a little anyway, it's kind of complex, but Ultimately, it's about the sun, babes. It's not about the S-O-N. 
with your group masturbation over there. It's about the S-U-N. It's easy. It's actually so fucking boring and nobody gets it. This place should be fucking thriving with the free energy that is available through the electromagnetic resonance frequencies, the photons, the way the sun is operating now, burping away. And I am pretty sure that Elon Musk's, whatever that foundation that he represents over there, which he knows, he knows nothing, there's a science that is ever um, perfecting once it does, it may or may not show us how it works, but if it can install itself enough inside of our bodies and start working there and creating a certain scenario, a living, a living condition that is like, we're supposed to think that's natural. And we don't, and see, the thing is, take what I just say and blip it over to the fact that we're supposed to think everything's natural happening in the universe here and also the solar system and the earth. Oh, it's just a natural, you know, uh, accidental collision. And, you know, and then the little, and then there's the moon suddenly. It's titanium. And then you go like this and then perfectly aligns with the sun. Here comes the eclipses that are in the Libra Aries axis you see and we're only lucky that Aries at the northern axis because Aries is the leader and has a sense of independence anyway it's like no it's important that we get our like our beautiful like video game on that we are bodies individually we have our um it's a deep responsibility to just like turn ourselves on and to become enlightened which means well no we're not completely our brains our, our the 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 um the function of a brain the way that it, what i mean is the mind not the brain the mind we are awareness becoming aware more and more of all of that and that is a process we are born that way, but but if you're around enough people that are held, captivated, really captive, under what? Did I talk about it before? We keep looping and looping and looping. It's like, did, did, do you think that we can just do without money? Don't you think so, babe? I didn't just say, can we do without becoming addicted to something that interests every us every day that we stay on it and, and it produces us something and then we oh it's just a big spew of fucking tons of it and it fills up the dumps and washes into the ocean and stirs around no do we need money to do that i, I think so yeah because otherwise something else far more efficient far more self-sustaining and something that makes sense would fucking appear it, it would be less of a numerous, like numbers, numbers standing as like this collective sheep thing that they're all systematically just, whoa, and, you know, do you think you can make it better in this lifetime or is it just a massive conveyor belt system going from cradle to grave? And if you listen to the chorus these fucking people are singing, if at all they are singing, woo! Having fun yet? In we trust. I'm getting PayPal. I say enjoy we trust. Put your money there.